Good afternoon and happy Saturday to all of your sunshiny faces. Guys, we ended up going to the NIU game. I will include some clips for today from that game. Um, I just posted them on Snapchat. I didn't bring my camera with, so my phone was the only thing I had to record with, so I'll include those clips for you guys today. pretty awesome that it was at home we got to see it and everything like that it was, it was pretty awesome um my mom actually didn't end up going in the long run um her website was actually their long story guys they're switching over to like a different host i think or something like that and she um was having problems with it since last night when we went to the high school football game and um because i told you guys yesterday in the vlog how the whole <laughs> problem with the tickets ended up coming up because matthew didn't tell us and he actually told us today that i guess in order to get the special family tickets you had to put in a special code at checkout um, or a special code in, I think maybe even before checkout or something like that. And that was how they were available to you. And so when my mom went there to general admission, it said it was sold out, but she actually had to put in a special code, I guess, in order to get them. So we ended up paying for like the regular tickets for the game, um, which I think it was $130 for four tickets, which I don't know necessarily what that comes out to, but it doesn't seem like a ridiculous amount of money. Obviously, like when we went to the Blackhawks game, that was like a ton of money, <laughs> seriously, guys. Um, and we went in one of their, I think that was the year just after they won the Stanley Cup. So maybe, or maybe it was two years after they won or something like that. Um, but it would, they were still like, I mean, they're still up there. And, you know, in when a franchise is doing really well, normally the ticket prices go through the roof. So we paid it a pretty expensive ticket season time. <laughs> um, so, yeah, but I mean, I felt like that wasn't ridiculously expensive. Honestly, guys, too, when we go out to the movies, now granted, it wasn't for four people. Normally it's for six. We can end up spending like, I mean, plus like drinks and stuff like that. We didn't end up actually getting anything. Well, no, we did get water bottles um, at the game. But, um, like, normally we can end up spending, like, over, like, $70 when we go to the movies. So, I think. I think that's, like, about how much it is. But, like I said, it's, I didn't see it as being, like, $130. I mean, I guess it's kind of expensive, but, like I said, I didn't, I mean, $15 obviously would have been way cheaper, which is what we were supposed to pay. But, um, it was actually nice because at a little bit before halftime, we were actually in the shade. The sun was far enough over us in the stadium. We actually sat, we had pretty good seats, guys. Like, pretty close to the field. And we had, like, a really good view of the, the game and stuff like that. We weren't, like, in the nosebleeds or anything like that. And we weren't, like, right up. I mean, we weren't, like, we were, I think in row 30 or something like that. So, we were actually pretty close. Um and yeah it was like I said it was a really good game they ended up winning um the final I think was like 30 no not 30 21 21 to like no maybe not 21 28 to 20 or 18 or something I don't even remember guys um 24 maybe to like 18 or something like that sounds like decently right like I said I don't remember I think the last snap that I posted was the actual final score maybe the other team scored one more touchdown but they went for the two-point conversion and missed it so like I said I don't remember off the top of my head <laughs> what the final score was um all I know is to win the game guys we ended up getting a pick at the end of the game because we were actually the final, the difference of the game was only eight points. Um, so if they would have scored and got the two-point conversion, it would have been like overtime most likely because there was only like 30-something seconds left on the clock. But we ended up getting an interception to end the game, which was amazing, guys. It was so awesome. Um, it was like really fun too. Like I said, at the beginning of the game too, it wasn't like 
we came out we just were gonna like annihilate this team or anything like that they came out and they actually scored first they got a field goal they had a field goal attempt and ended up missing it and then they had a second one and they made that one and we never even got within field goal range like the, our offense looked it wasn't looking very good at that point and then they ended up um like I said they turned it up and I think it was like 14 to 3 at halftime or something then after that they ended up we scored I think another touchdown and we got a field goal as well getting maybe another touchdown and then they came back and they got like two touchdowns then I think we ended up scoring again maybe then they got a touchdown and then we got the field goal but like I said the final all I know is the difference was a difference of eight points it's a very good intense and kind of like um action-packed pretty high intensity they ended up having a couple of uh, fumble recoveries I think I don't know other than the last one I don't know that they had any picks but I think they had maybe two fumbles um or fumble recoveries and um like I said it wasn't like you know just a a beat down like we got beat down or we beat up another team or anything like that it was a really close game which was I think those are normally the best games so we were like all on the edge of our seats you know and the other teams marching downfield almost for the field for the for the touchdown um and what could be a two-point conversion to tie it and then we got the pick I was like oh my gosh it's amazing so it was a really good game I'm really happy that we were there for that one because like I said they lost the first two um, last week Matthew went to the game last week because it was at home they had one away game to start then they have two home games then I don't think they have another home game until like almost a month later in October or something like that I think it's homecoming and they have two more after that they only have I think a total of five um, home games I think was what Matthew looked up it was either I thought we saw and we thought it was four but I guess they actually have five home games this year we're gonna try and get a chance to go with like my mom most likely to maybe some of the friends I think I was telling you guys to my my dad was saying he might want to invite the parents of one of the kids who played with Matthew volleyball and football um, because both of their parents actually they went to NIU and so Matthew um, was saying like oh my gosh it'd be so much fun to have them there because like my dad is a coach now for football so he has to be on the sidelines and so he can't be up in the stands with his buddy um, and you know them cheering on you know the high school football team so they're like let's invite them to like an NIU game maybe for the homecoming or something like that and then to my cousin was also saying how he wanted to come out to I know he said I think talked to Matthew and wanted to come out and see like his dorm and stuff like that and so I was like well why don't we invite them like for one football game or something like that too and can go and see that see it with them or something um so yeah that might be what we're doing but I am actually making my grocery list right now and um I'm uploading the vlogs that I need for the next few days and then I actually it's nine o'clock right now guys and I feel like I need to do something because I've been the car rides like just about an hour maybe a little less than an hour but um to get there it's in we were first we drove like an hour to get there then we walked from like one end of we parked like kind of near Matthew's um like room we ended up walking like okay so Matthew's dorm room is actually somewhat near to the stadium it's actually really close and so we ended up walking though to his dorm room because we ended up having to get something from his room then we ended up walking back to the stadium then once we were there we sat for like you know the whole game pretty much then we ended up walking back to his room then we walked back to the car and like I said the walk wasn't super close or anything like that it was a decent ways away and then you know we left then we got Pete pizza and we're sitting there at the pizza place then we left and we're driving home for almost an hour so I feel like I've been like sitting and or walking like all day like I haven't really been like up and about doing anything like I've been very either stagnant or you know just like I said like just <laughs> walking really far distances um to get to where we've got we had to go and stuff like that but um so I kind of feel like I want to try and get something done so I'm thinking about maybe doing the produce prep that I have left from like this week um because there's some stuff that I didn't get to. I was thinking about maybe doing that because we have to go to the grocery stores tomorrow and if I can try and clean out as much of the space in the fridge as possible, that'd be awesome. So since we're going to the store tomorrow, then I'll have room to put a lot of the stuff away in the fridge that I need to. And then also, um, I was thinking then, if I don't do that, then I was gonna edit some vlogs, but I'm thinking that I'll probably come back 
back from the grocery store tomorrow and just want to sit around and watch football and probably edit. So I think that's what I'll do tomorrow. Maybe just do a little bit of the produce prep stuff because like we have oranges that have been sitting out. I was thinking about getting some more oranges, but if we have those oranges, the only way Jack likes to eat them is if they're cut up. My mom doesn't like to eat them cut up. So like once they've kind of been out for like a week or so, my mom hasn't eaten any of them. And since, like I said, I'm going to get some more anyway, I think I'm going to cut up what we have so that Jack will have it. And then the new ones that we get. So my mom, if she wants oranges, you know, whole oranges, she can have them. Because like I said, I got to split between the two people that like oranges on how they like to eat their oranges. So I can't cut all of them up because like I said, my mom doesn't like them that way. And I can't leave them all not cut up because Jack won't eat them that way. So I have to find a happy medium and I think this just works better and being like okay all the oranges that we have right now I'm just gonna cut up and let Jack have those ones and the ones that I'm gonna buy because I'm gonna get another three pound one tomorrow at Aldi um and just like I said leave those ones for my mom to eat so <laughs> I think I'm gonna do that and I think I've got a cantaloupe too that I need to cut up um and the watermelon too I might cut that as well but um, just a couple things that are already sitting out anyway, but I might as well just get them in the fridge and cut them up so that I don't have more stuff that I have to try and get done tomorrow or anything. And like I said, if I do that, I can get to some vlogs as well. So the other thing that we were talking about too, guys, is that I'm actually getting my camera, I think this weekend, my new camera this weekend. And then Matthew is saying how he actually wants to vlog on campus. He's like, I think it'd be really fun, um, you know, to be out there. And then too, so that like we can see what he's doing while he's out on campus and the stuff that he's out there you know doing hanging around with his friends and stuff like that and just you know kind of daily stuff and you know the happenings and all that and so he I was like well I could give you my old camera and you can record on that and then send me the footage and we get to see what he's doing and then I can also include it in the vlog as well so um and I know that I'm getting my new camera because I just paid my dad money <laughs> today um so that I can get it um because my dad's paying for half of the camera because it was for my birthday and then also to it was like half my birthday present half what my dad's paying for I'm paying for the other half so I gave him the money for my half that I'm paying for and so he's gonna buy it um so yeah that's why guys I um have officially put money down on my camera now um as far as giving it to my dad so that he's in possession of it now I have to get it <laughs> so um it's it's just I'm one step closer to getting it I know guys I've literally been saying since like I think before Christmas that I was going to be getting my new camera and I still haven't so that's actually probably coming soon but yeah it was kind of fun when Matthew is in the car and he's like I really want to vlog while I'm out here and I was like that's kind of interesting so we'll see guys anyways though I'm going to see what I can't finish up for tonight so I'll see you guys all in tomorrow's vlog if you guys did enjoy today's make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love if you'd subscribe and I'll see all of your sunshiny faces tomorrow so bye guys